All right. Excuse me one second. My fucking speaker having a spasm. Uh, hello and welcome back to uh, uh, War <laughs> the War Mongrels. My bad. Uh, I kind of did an oopsie with the uh, with the previous recordings, which was to kind of mess up the parts. So number part one was part one, but part two was part one also, and part three became <coughs> number two, if you get my drift. Uh, so we're going to have to do this again, although I think I can do it a lot faster. So with nothing else to it, let's go. Oh yeah, and I had by far removed the. Uh, sorry, but the. Uh, oh, fuck it, we can do it later. It was strange how peaceful life was in France, striking contrast to what was happening in occupied Poland, as if the war was going on everywhere else, except here. But the truth was. The Germans watched and controlled every single movement of its residents. Back then I was wondering what was happening with the ones left in Poland. And with Ewald. Actually, I started to miss the bastard, I must admit. I still had hopes of meeting him and the rest of our crew after we returned from the British Isles. These hopes weren't in vain, as before we all separated, we established our meeting point, Led's family estate near Warsaw. But back to France. For months, French resistance had been formulating a plan, the aim of which was to kill several dozen German dignitaries attending a banquet at a mansion near the town. Unfortunately, in the days leading up to the banquet, the local resistance lost too many of its people for the plan to succeed. They had no choice but to seek outside help. We knew we had our own mission to accomplish, but we couldn't refuse the resistance, nor miss the chance to deal the Germans a staggering blow. <sighs> I have to admit that the blink in Joachim's eye when it came to shooting these people still gives me the creeps. Seems like we're here. What a beautiful place to live. We shall be drowning it in Nazi blood. Okay, we have everything discussed. Let's repeat the plan, shall we? Manfred and Greta entering estate. With invitation, it all should be great. Joachim going near buyback gates, waiting for the lock to be picked by his mates. Manfred cuts the telegraph cable, ensuring their aid is not brought to the table. Greta is letting Joachim in, keeping in mind she cannot be seen. Joachim wears the officer's clothes, arriving at the party like a Nazi boss. Locking up the shelter is also his task, ensuring Nazis can't hide from us. Manfred opens the servant's entrance, clearing the way for La Resistance. After all this, he shoots the flare, making the sign of giving them hell. And then we're on the loose, killing them to the last one. Okay, let's put the plan in motion. Come on, Manfred. Let's see how they party. Ugh, I feel stupid in this dress. Oh, you look astonishing, Greta. You will easily draw all the Germans' attention. <coughs> I'll never get used to picking up the enemy. <laughs> Isn't that what women do all the time? I said, the enemy. Sometimes you act as all men were your enemies. I'm only being professional. I meant you all. Women in general. I think you've spent too much time on the front line, soldier boy. I 
I feel sorry for whoever has to climb up here in the morning and fucking clean this area, though <laughs> these areas out. <coughs> okay, oh, no, don't cough. Damn it. Um. Well, what was I going to say again? Oh yeah, that I messed up the recording, so by the time I figured it out that, oh shit, I'm all, I realized I was already several uh, days behind the schedule of the uploading. So, um, sorry about that. It's uh, my own fault, not, not you. Um, don't know why I said that, but hey-ho. Uh, first time I've seen a vlog. Actually, no, it's been several times I've seen a vlog. Halt! Papira, bitte. There you are. I just hope I'm at the right place. Yeah, Madam Schneider, make yourself at home. Danke. Uh, I hope there's no problem with my guard coming in. Not at all, Madame. Just keep in mind that the guards should be waiting outside. Joachim gives me the creeps lately, Greta. What do you mean? Well, the way he talks about killing Nazis. Seriously, I think he's losing it. Well, it's difficult to judge him, after all he's been through. Yeah, but don't you think he becomes just the same as those who made him suffer? I don't think he would like to exterminate all Germans. But he would exterminate all the Nazis. And it would be his choice who is a Nazi and who is not. I think you're overreacting a little bit here. No. No, I'm telling you, the trauma he experienced has unpredictable effects. I saw it back there on the front. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that... <clears throat> when people get to decide who is who, that can be quite dangerous. Just like taking two steps up this fucking stair. I mean, Manfred will get shot. Instantly. Like... <laughs> Like, ridiculously fast, like, there's no, not even a warning, like, hey, what the fuck you doing? Can I see your invitation, Fräulein? There you go, handsome. Oh, Frau Schneider. It's a pity your respected husband couldn't make it. Oh, he's a man of duty, you know. He doesn't feel comfortable at parties. Yeah, he is a great warrior. Hmm, between us? Not in the bedroom, unfortunately. Uh, he does not know how to wave his sword. <laughs> this is the entrance to the shelter. We have to lock it up somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Greta should be going up here. We want to um, clear the way for York first. Which means killing this guard and a guard up here. I'm going to focus on this guy first, though, so... This guard. I'm exposed. Of course, the fucking dog's there. And we just saved as the dog fucking barked. This is highly annoying. I'm gonna should have seen this, is this the coming. to the shelter. We have to lock it up somehow. Should have seen that one coming. Over here, please. Thank you. <clears throat> and I don't understand how the dogs kind of figure out that. No, 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 no. That. Him not German. No. Like. Gonna focus here then. Oh yeah, also I had this problem once, uh, where he could actually, actually last time I played, this guy could like see what going, what was happening in this room at that an angle somehow. One down. Ok, 
Okay, that happened. Fuck you. What? What the hell? That's that's the first time though I think that they ever like smelled smelled me while being inside the house. Okay, this is not an improvement. Not last time. One down. Ah, it's the body, I see, okay. <clears throat> what the hell is Greta now? She's in there. Again, now what the fuck, how does he see me? Okay, every... I, I should have realized him, but... Like, n now I'm getting frustrated, like, really, what the hell? Okay, let's focus on... Right now. If the dog smells me, I'm gonna be really annoyed. No, or I'm just doing, yeah, I'm doing things too fast, so just relax, calm down. But still, how the fuck does he see me? Like over here, and that's the okay. So it ain't me the dog smells; it's the body that we're gonna leave behind. One down. I can almost recommend you to deal with this guy due to him somehow seeing you up here. And clear of the dog. He's the three dogs. I, I haven't really thought about that in a while. Or before. Also, um, yeah, Mrs. Schneider is French, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, she is. So, so uh, should Greta ever slip up in her German? Like, yeah, she's uh, French, so don't worry about it. <coughs> I think we missed this guy.
Joachim, you're still here? No, he he ran off to kill some Nazis somewhere. Like... <laughs> uh, you know, we actually could with. No, we could not. He's dead. And we're gonna bloody our uniform. That that's actually a funny thing though, that nobody gives a shit about our bloody uniform. <laughs> and with that done, there is a propaganda brochure right there that we're gonna take. And we're gonna take Joachim to his destination. <laughs> Again, sorry for my coughing. I don't know, but I had a fucking yes. If you want, want it. No, push on, push on. And we wanna get in here. As soon as possible. Please, thank you. And then the moment these guys turn around and start walking, we wanna walk with them, so to speak. And yes, there's a dog over here too. Turn off your vehicles, it's 1944, he's suffering from fuel shortage or something like that, or whatever it now was. See what my plan was now. Uh, hold on. Ready for the party? Oh, you bet I am. Can't wait for the turkey shoot. Don't you think you're a little obsessed with your payback time? You talk like Manfred. No, I'm just a little bit worried that it alters your judgment. My judgment? Greta, I just want to annihilate those who annihilated my people. You can't kill everyone involved. Ever. You'll have to move on with your life. They took my life from me. They created me. Now they reap what they sow. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I do believe we wanna... No, 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 no. We, we want to go into the house first. Going to the house first, which means dealing with this guy. En route. Aha. Uh -huh. And neither Manfred or Joachim is allowed Coming in. Right over. So we're gonna okay. Hit the deck or hit the dirt, whatever. 
bricks, whatever. No, not even bricks. Um, <coughs> Which I actually no, we can leave this dog alone. We just need to get a get out of there before the dogs in this case, whatever the hell we're doing over there. Or what happened, my bad. Um I think we will be able to know. <coughs> I'm going there. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna save. I think we might get some. No, I'm gonna wait. I'll move the corpse. Naturally. There. Uh, let's see. Freeze up Eat her. It. Sure. I think we want to take care of him too, but I'm unsure how to do that. Because then I'm quite sure that I can actually just walk across or crawl across and then up. Which reminds me, should probably. And we can't hide in these flowers, no. But. Can we hide behind? No, we're not, not even uh, that. He does go there though, doesn't he? 